Hey guys, Shailene Sean here, and today for this week's video, I wanted to do the get to know me tag or about me tag or whatever you want to call it. I found a list of 30 questions on some website called YouTube Society, and I figured I would answer them because I don't have a video where I literally just talk about myself on this channel. They're beauty related or vlog related, so here and there you get little snippets of my life, but there's nothing actually like this grounded on my channel. Excuse this corner me and my best friend are making me a vanity and uh, there are a lot of things still in the works so i just kind of threw up some little things like um these dying flowers my boyfriend bought me to make it seem decent because there was a lot more shit on this tabletop before i decided to make it look decent so i wanted to do this video bare face just chilling in a kent state t-shirt five dollar hat from five below nothing special and I want to do that because this is me. This is me barefaced. This is me in my natural form. So I figured it was the best way to do this video, honestly. So without further ado, I'm just going to start answering these questions. So the first question is, what is your middle name? My middle name is Sean, hence my channel name, Shailene Sean. My last name's Long and don't know why I have it in the first place. But I love my middle name, so... It's Sean. That's my middle name, girl. That's my middle name. Number two, what is your favorite color? I like anything earth toned. My walls are olive green. I like browns, sandy colors, oranges, and then just tints like black, gray, and white. I'm not a big pink, blue, purpley type of girl anymore. That was like years ago. So anything neutral is right up my alley. Number three is who's your best friend? Her name's Courtney. We were best friends from fourth grade to eighth grade and we've just recently become best, best friends again. We went to different high schools and things kind of lost track but she's great. I love her. It's my best friend and we get each other and it's nice it's nice to have that person in your life who you can always go to to tell things and they and you guys have that open communication to where they can always come to you and tell you whatever they need to. But yeah, she's cool as fuck, so yeah, that's my best friend. Number four is how tall are you? I am five foot four and a half, stopped growing a very long time ago. Five, cats or dogs? If I had to pick, I would pick cats, but in all, in all honesty, I don't like animals. I, I hate animals, especially dogs. I got bit by like two dogs when I was younger and that shit was traumatizing and I don't mess with dogs at all. Number six is funniest moment throughout school. Um, I spent a lot of weekends at Courtney's house growing up and it was like there was never a dull moment and really any weekend with her was hilarious. I can't really pinpoint an exact moment but middle school was just fucking funny as hell. Like honestly all the middle school was just one giant laughing game. Seven, how many countries have you visited? Um, I'm broke as hell, only been in the United States. Have barely been out of Ohio, so yeah. Eight, are you in or have you gone to college? I went to the University of Akron in high school, so I have my Associate of Arts from the University of Akron and I'm currently attending um, the University of Kent State. No, bitch. I am currently attending Kent State University for fashion merchandising. I graduate next December and I will have my degree in fashion merchandising, so yeah. I keep saying so yeah, sorry, I don't really know how to end these, but yeah, I'm going to Kent State right now for a fashion merge. Number nine, what was your favorite or worst subject in high school? My favorite subject has always been language arts or anything with reading. I scored really high in the ACT section of reading and writing. And I hate science and I hate math. That's just not how I think. It's not how my brain functions. I've always been good with anything written. Number 10, what's your favorite drink? I'm a big fan of water and a big fan of tea. Hot tea, really, so Earl Grey hot tea is my shit. Those are my two favorite things. Number 11 is what is your favorite animal? And everybody knows my favorite animal is an elephant. I have a tattoo on my back. It's either on this side or this side. And I want to get it covered up soon and I really want a big portrait of an elephant so they mean a lot to me I don't know they're good luck they're giant but beautiful and they're gentle creatures who sometimes are misunderstood they're intelligent they're smart and they mean a lot of things to a lot of different cultures and it's just great like 
how great they are, if that makes sense. They're just fucking like beautiful. Like elephants are the shit. Number 12, what is your favorite perfume? I don't wear perfumes or body mists or any of that. I get headaches really easy. The smell of cigarettes, the smell of cologne, the smell of perfumes, strong hand sanitizer, anything with a strong sense of smell. Like I can't even go in Macy's without getting a headache gives me headaches so I just stray away from all of that really but any I mean if I'm really trying to be fancy I'll just like spray a body mist on from like Bath and Body Works or something but other than that I don't deal in that whole genre of like scents it's just it's not for me. 13 tea or coffee definitely tea I like iced coffee but like hot Coffee is d disgusting to me, but iced coffee is cool. Number four, what would you or what have you named your children? I want to name my first child Anastasia from the princess Anastasia. And I want to name my first son Alexi because they were the two in the royal family with Rasputin and all that. I don't know, Russian names are beautiful to me. Or I would want to name my first son Damien or Damiante or something of that nature. 15, what sports have you or do you play? I don't play sports. I was in spelling bees growing up. I'm not athletic. I'm not gonna sit here and lie about it. I hate sports. I hate doing physical activity that I don't need to do basically. So yeah, another so yeah. How many so yeahs have I said? Number 16, what is your favorite book? This is not a fair question to ask. Let me go to my Goodreads account. Let me just read you the list of my favorite books. So I have eight favorite books on my Goodreads account. Um, Bad Feminist by Roxanne Gay. I love that book. It's a book of essays about feminism and just the, the difficulties in the whole thing. And I read it probably like a year and a half ago. It was a really good book. I highly suggest it. I also have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. That shit was amazing. The book is way better than the movie. She also has a couple other books that are really good. And... Gillian Flynn is the shit. There's also The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. If I remember correctly, it's actually a memoir. And it talks about the journey her and her family had with her father. And I do not remember it too much, but that book was like literally, it took me through a lot of emotions. I read it really quickly and really fast because it was that interesting. I'll leave all the titles below if you want to check them out. But that book was really, really good. I have Holes by Louis Sakar. Um... We've all seen the movie Holes, you know, with Shia LaBeouf and Zero. You know, we've all seen Holes. The book is amazing. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. What can I say? What can I say? Uh, the Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I said The Graveyard Boy. I always call it that. But The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman is amazing. Uh, the Giver by Lewis Lowry. I remember I read that book way before the movie even came out. I read that book probably like sixth grade and fell in love. It's kind of, that was the book that transitioned me into actually only reading utopian and dystopian books like Maze Runner and Divergent and books that take place in an alternate reality or just like not, not our basic world. Like The Fault in Our Stars is our basic world. That shit could really happen. But shit like The Giver, that shit doesn't happen. That's a whole different universe. And I love books like that. Like, if it can't happen, I love it. Fantasy, amazing, great. And then the last book on here is Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews. This is one of the first books I actually read all the way through. It is the story about a family whose father dies and they go to live with their mother's grandmother because the father was the money maker in the house which is typically what happened in you know homes like that back then so they go live with the mother's mother and basically they trap the kids in the attic there's a lifetime movie about it there's also a movie made before but they killed the mom off at the end which didn't happen in the first story but yeah but they basically trap the kids in the attic and the sister and brother fall in love bc andrews was phenomenal she wrote books way back in the day all of her stories are like sick and twisted like that like bad shit happening so she's like old school like if you go to Goodyear Goodyear if you go to Goodyear if you if you go to Goodwill you'll find her books trust me number 17 who are some of your favorite youtubers Jackie Ina I love Jackie Ina uh Good Mythical Morning Rhett and Link are amazing I live for the content they put out every day Shameless Maya I love her and her message uh Mr. Kate she gets me into the whole decor DIY like thing even though I'm really not into all that. Um 
I love Tina Marie. She's a small YouTuber, but I like her because, like, sometimes larger YouTubers, you do think, are they telling the truth or are they just trying to sell me this product? But I know Tina Marie, she's not trying to sell me a product. Like, she's going to give me the real. Like, I respect that. I, do, I fuck with her channel heavily. I watch all her videos. And Raven Elise, I love Raven Elise. Uh, Pretty P. Collins, she got me into YouTube and into wearing wigs all together. Honestly, she's one of the first YouTubers I started watching. She does wig reviews and makeup tutorials. Um, Tales of Taylor does dumpster dives. He's known for dumpster diving. He tried to change the content on his channel a little bit, which I'm here for if you do want to change the content on your channel. It's your channel. Do what you want. But he's kind of going back into that whole dumpster diving route. But Taylor Taylor and Pretty P. Collins got me into YouTube, so shout out to them. I do have some old, old ass dumpster diving videos on my channel from last year that were unsuccessful. You know, Tales of Taylor, they have some pretty successful dumpster dives. We didn't find too much anything, so those are definitely my, my fave YouTubers. Like, if I see a video that they uploaded, I'm watching it regardless. 18, what is your favorite movie? Pan's Labyrinth. I love Guillermo del Toro. He directed Hellboy. Amazing director. Uh, My Girl. Love that movie. 8 Mile. Bitch. 8 Mile's my shit. I love 8 Mile. The Goonies. I love The Goonies so much. I actually went to Cleveland Comic Con yesterday and got this cute little picture. I'll put the lady's uh, Instagram handle, but it's freaking Chunk and Slaw. Love the Goonies. Inside Out. Oh my god, I love Inside Out. And there's more, but those are like the ones off the dome that I can pull. 19, are you single or taken? I'm taken. My boyfriend's Devin. Um, he's in a couple of my vlogs. Blessed to have him. He's amazing. We'll be three years here in a couple of weeks, so I love him. That's my life, my world. Number 20, what's your idea of an ideal first date? I would say... First date at my age, at 19, um, movies, fast food, I'm not hard to please. That would take the cake for me, honestly. Number 21, how many girlfriends or boyfriends have you had? I've only dated men so far. I've been in a relationship with Devin for the last three years. I dated another guy before him for three years. I talked to a guy for like a year, which I consider dating because we were... I guess serious enough to where we could have took it there for a year and anything in middle school doesn't really count so really I've only been in three serious relationships I would say technically but really only two if that makes sense. 23 do you speak any different language as well? Um, I took four or five years of Spanish. I can speak enough to to, to get me to what I want to know and to hold a, like a semi-decent conversation with somebody but nothing too serious. Number 24, do you have any siblings? I have three sisters and three brothers. Yep, three sisters, three brothers. 25, how would you describe your fashion sense? Streetwear casual. Usually I'm wearing jeans with a graphic tee. I tried to be cute for a while and got like cute shit from Charlotte Russe, but now I'm like back at Zoomies and you know, back to my roots, you know, I've really never been fashionable, if that makes sense. Like, I love makeup. I can do makeup good on myself, I feel like, but fashion has just really never been my thing. I wear what's cute and what fits, and it works for me. 26, what is your favorite restaurant? Um, if you're ever in Akron, we have a Chinese buffet called the Royal Buffet, and I fucking love it. If you go before 3.30, it's $7, so... Yeah, I go there whenever I have the time. It's great. They have a great spinach dip. They have sweet and sour chicken. They have white rice. It's everything you could want in a Chinese buffet and more. 27, what are some of your favorite TV shows? So, truthfully, I didn't know about Law & Order Special Victims Unit before May. Never heard of it. Never knew about it or anything, so... I'm watching it on Netflix. I'm on season 13. It starts at season 13 on Netflix. They don't have the seasons before. Or I'm not sure if the seasons before are different Law & Orders. No, I don't think they are. Anyways, I'm on season 13, episode 20 right now. I finished Stranger Things, which was amazing. We are currently watching 
Atlanta. We're watching Strut. We are watching American Horror Story season six. Um, we are watching Married to a Stranger. And that's all we're watching right now. So that's all for now. 28 PC or Mac. I have a Mac desktop, but I have a PC laptop. Honestly, Mac, just because I have a desktop, I have an iPhone, everything's compatible, I can stream everything together, so it just makes more sense. Which leads us into number 29, what phone do you have? I have a iPhone 6, I got it last October, still not paid for unfortunately. I do not plan on upgrading to the 7 because from what I've seen, everybody who has the 7 really doesn't like it, so don't see too much point in me upgrading to it, plus this isn't paid off for, you know? I feel like you don't just uh, switch from $600 phone to $600 phone every year. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me and I don't have money to blow like that. 30, tell us one of your bad habits. I would say biting my nails, but I only bite my nails when they get too long and I work fast food. So I be getting like, when you put them gloves on, it's like sweat and everything else just gets under them. So I do bite my nails a lot, but it's only for that reason. But yeah, those are my bad habits. So that's all 30 of the questions. I do want to just do a couple more random ones just to, I don't know, give you guys an overview or whatever. Does that make sense? Just a couple random ones that were mentioned. My name is Shailene, middle name Sean. I am 19. I go to Kent State. I am a fashion merchandising major. I have a boyfriend named Devin. He is a black man. He's amazing. I am black and white. My mother is a white woman who's a redhead. My father is a black man. Um, I do not identify as heterosexual, I identify as pansexual, which basically means when I choose a partner or somebody to date romantically, I do not focus on gender. To me, gender is just a social construct. It's BS. Gender is BS, basically. So, pansexuality basically eliminates that. Like, I don't, I don't see any of that. Like, if you're cool as fuck, I'm cool as fuck, we can be cool as fuck together, so... I identify as pansexual. Also, I wanted to run an idea by you guys. I am starting a second channel. I was going to start a second channel originally just for my vlogs, but honestly, my vlogs don't get enough love for me to start a second channel. Maybe one day if my vlogs do, I will, but it's not going to be for that reason. I am a fashion merchandising major, and when I decided to continue my education, I either was going to go for journalism or fashion merch. The journalism courses, you take a lot of courses that... I don't want to take. I have no interest in taking. I've looked at the syllabi. I've heard about them and I don't want to take them. But I do love journalism. I love I love hearing the facts, making an opinion, getting other people's opinion. I just love the whole community of news. Just the whole news things. It, I just, I love that whole community. Fashion merch is cool, but journalism is what I would have loved to do. So I do want to start a new channel. Sorry, I'm out of breath. My new channel is going to be a news-based channel. And I feel like I do watch a couple, like, gossip channels, I guess, if you could say. I watch John Kukian, I think. I just started watching his channel. He seems cool as fuck. I like him. And I watch Sanders Kennedy. And they both kind of run, like, where they just talk about current events, but mainly, like, YouTube current events. I want to talk about current events, the whole spectrum. I want to talk about the fact that... Tim Burton decided diversity was irrelevant when creating Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I want to talk about shit like that. Like, shit that makes me mad. So, if you're interested in that, let me know. I do want to start it. I'm going to start it whether or not anybody's interested. But to know that, you know, I could get my audience from this channel to my new channel would be nice. I just want to educate people, honestly, on different topics. And, you know, let people know how I feel about things. I'm all about telling you my opinion. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It was kind of spur of the moment. I knew I needed to film something because usually when I'm bored, I edit and I didn't have anything to edit. So I really wanted to film this. I'm still working on my vanity setup and the layout of this whole thing. So yeah, just bear with me for a little bit. I have a list of videos I do want to put out. But if you like this video, let me know. If you want to see more like this, let me know. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I post weekly and... I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.